Over 50% of people in their 20s hate needles. If you know you need a flu shot, but you're afraid of freaking out, we can help. I'm Dr. Amy Baxter, and I study pain and needle fear. Here's how to help with your flu vaccine, and stick around at the end for the science. You wanna make a three-point plan that deals with pain, your fear, and your focus during the jab. First, pain management. You can take two to three ibuprofen one hour before you go, but the most proven way to deal with injection pain is bringing and using a Buzzy. Buzzy combines ice and an intense frequency of vibration that desensitizes before the injection and distracts and disrupts the pain transmission during the poke itself. Second, fear. A quarter of people who don't get their flu shots don't get them because of needle fear. Just having a plan helps, but using Buzzy has been proven to significantly reduce anxiety with injections. Maybe it's from knowing that you've got power over pain that you brought with you. But if you know that your reason for being afraid is that you get woozy, drink 16 ounces of water an hour before. In one study looking at Buzzy for HPV vaccines, nobody in the Buzzy group fainted or got woozy. So you got that going for you. Third, focus. When the brain is distracted, it feels pain less. Have a friend bring distraction cards so that you can answer questions and not be watching or paying attention to the jab. If you're flying solo, try to count something across the room. Here's how it looks in action. I'm counting the circles in letters in a sentence in this video. Here's how the pain, fear, and fainting science works. First of all, pain. There's two different ways that Buzzy blocks the pain from the nerves. The thing is that your body is designed to sense different things with four kinds of mechanoreceptor nerves because they feel mechanical touch. Light touch, push, but the one that matters most is not the stretch one, it's the deep position sense nerve called the pachinian corpuscle. That's the one that is specifically triggered by the motor frequency we use. This is why we put a little dot next to the motor. So we say put the shot near the dot because that motor is giving out the frequency that stimulates that position sense nerve. That position sense nerve goes to the spine and it stops the transmission of pain because the feeling of the vibration is a lot more important to the body. Second thing, ice. So what ice does is when ice is felt in the anterior cingulate gyrus, it goes, hmm, not pleasant, but not dangerous. Let's dampen down any sensations coming along those nerves. So it stops that sensation. So these things are called gate control and descending noxious inhibitory control, or DNIC. The reason that decreasing fear helps is because there's a part of the brain that is categorizing what is risky to you. If you're distracted, if you're enjoying something, then your brain knows you're not at risk and it decreases the sensitivity to pain. Finally, why do people not faint with Buzzy? First of all, actual fainting is only about 3%, so it'd be very difficult to do a randomized controlled trial because so few people faint to begin with. But what's happening and what was tested in one group of girls that were getting HPV shots is that the frequency of this vibration is a sympathetic jack you up kind of stimulator. The nerve that causes the fainting is called a vasovagal nerve. It's a parasympathetic stimulator. It lowers your blood pressure, calms you down. Sometimes it lowers your blood pressure so much you faint. So what we think is going on is that when you put Buzzy on, you're increasing that sympathetic stimulus and it blocks out the response of the parasympathetic. I know, a little bit geeky, but bottom line, pain, fear, focus, and anti-fainting all come together to give you a much better needle pain experience. Now go and get your flu shot.